So Rivka, today on Talk to Us, we are asking people um, ahead of the anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks on the United States, that's tomorrow, we're asking people, how do you think we can prevent terrorism in the future? What, what's the best way any, you know, in, in any country, obviously Indonesia, Indonesia has, had, has, had has had terrorist attacks, and what do you think is the best way to prevent terrorism? Well, for me, as, uh, it's a different case in Indonesia, right? Because, as you know, Indonesia is a long, it's not a long story, but we have a, spe a special story about terrorism, you know, in Indonesia. For me, as learning from my country, it's very, it's the best to approach, it's, I think it's the best, the best approach is from education, because most of the terrorism network, they usually recruit the young people who are usually, pro pro like, poor and undereducated and they recruit them and they make like promises for wealth and a better living by becoming one of the, the member. So for me, education is the, the best approach, especially for young people. And so if they're promising a, a better way of living in addition to education, and, and I'd like to know what kind of education you think, it also sounds like young people might need more jobs, for example. Yes, exactly. So for me, like education, uh, as far as I know, maybe the best edu like formal education in schools. Mm -hmm. They the school should l teach them how to you know make a better make a better life, mm -hmm. like giving moral like life lessons and how to be. I don't. I'm not saying like how to be a good person, but giving them uh, what what can, what should we say like. Mm -hmm. Some, something that can carry on their life, something that they can hold on to, something without, to live without being, you know, to involve in any extreme actions. I believe that terrorism started as uh, a revenge, uh, as there were military operation over there and uh, a number of other uh, issues. Uh, and I feel sorry for them because I feel I am involved uh, in such kind of issues uh, as uh, uh, I'm one of the Pakistani who is supporting army and army uh, is there uh, fighting uh, against militants. In fact, militants want some uh, something improvement in their area or uh, Islamic societies there or whatever their requirements are, we need to discuss them. So when you say you feel like terrorism is revenge, revenge carried out by which side? The militants? Or yeah, I believe that uh, by the militants. But why, if we can get to the root of why you think they are carrying out the revenge, how would you prevent that revenge from taking place at all? Well, uh, as you said, the revenge is uh, uh, always a reaction. First, you have to stop uh, action for that. What do you, What do you think they're reacting to? Well, I believe that it is because of uh, military involvement. Uh, in the FATA and uh, all the border areas where uh, our military is operating currently. Uh, plus, as we were uh, supporting US in Afghanistan, and that was the major issue. And so, if, if you were to look back on, on how the events have unfolded after the US invaded Pakistan, uh, excuse me, Afghanistan, and, um, and then militants started using Pakistan as a, as a base to attack Afghanistan, and then the Pakistani army started fighting against the militants. Yeah. What would you suggest as an alternative to the current conflict that's happening in your country? On both we, the military side and the militant side. Well, we need to clarify that uh, as we see that militants on their side, they think that they are fighting for Pakistan. And military, of course, is fighting for Pakistan as well. So why they are killing each other? If they both are fighting for Pakistan, for the uh, peoples of Pakistan. They, they need to sit together, they need to talk to each other. That what is the solution? So, How the, the, well, so yeah. then, what, what do you think is the solution in terms of how do you get the two sides to come together or to realize that perhaps they, sh they, they share common ground uh, as you just described? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I see that the basic roots uh, were again in Afghanistan as army was supporting uh, USA over there and uh, as we uh, Muslims consider that USA is against Muslims 
and Afghanistan as it was being led by Muslims. Uh, so we consider that uh, they, uh, the Pakistan army shouldn't fight against Afghanis or with the USA over there. And this uh, will be the first thing. But I don't don't consider that our uh, our army will be uh, turning back from uh, the Afghan war, as we uh, we have led number of uh, fights there, and we are supporting uh, since long. What do you think is the best way to prevent terrorism? Prevent terrorism. Uh, best way to try is uh, we should search all the time, like our government should you know, search all the time. Search all the time? Yeah, search all the time and we should look like uh, the people in our surroundings if we have doubts, you know. You know. So like as a public, like we should inform them if, if, we, have, if we have any doubts or any discussion nearby. So, so you think that we, the authorities should search for weapons, for example, or, or plans for terrorism? Yeah, plans. Yeah, people, like surrounding people, if we have suspicious nature people. So. Would you encourage more police to be on the streets of the United States, for example? Do you want more cameras? How, yeah. how would this searching take place? Right, I mean, yeah, it's... like security should be tight, like security everywhere should be tight and everywhere. Like even though in the streets and the, so that would be nice. Like if the security is tight, like camera, some people, like you know, the government people, you know, not not in the police dress. Like they must be in the usual dress. They must be in a regular plain clothes. The regular clothes, yeah. yeah. Well, so now, how long have you lived in the U.S.? Oh, I have been living in the U.S. Uh, for three years. Three years. And so how do you, how would you compare, I mean, here we are, we're a day before the, the 12th anniversary of the September 11th attacks on New York and Washington. How would you compare security here to the way it was, let's say, in, in India? Oh, India, you know, India is, um, uh, India security is not good. Security here is good. You know, as a big country, they have more danger. Don't you think so? It's a big country, more successful country, developed country is more dangerous. So everyone, you know, we know. But India has also a lot of, you know, crisis before that. But uh, I think is, um, I think security is tight on airports and everywhere. When we go, there's a lot of security now. What do you think is the best way to prevent terrorism? Okay. I don't get you because your voice is not clear. If it's possible, write in the sky. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. We just wrote. There you go. What is the best way to <coughs> prevent uh, terrorists? Oh my God, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, we are sure that uh, we are not tourists because the uh, world uh, like America, okay, mm -hmm. uh, told uh, Iran is tourist, but Iran is not tourist. I think that uh, when you want to prevent uh, terrorists, uh, you need to inform the people about uh, this uh, phenomenon, and also you, you need. Uh, to to inform them about the reality of our you, you need to inform the people about the about the reality of what uh, reality of uh, of religions especially religions and uh, about why the people religious 